Hello Astral Loves, I am coming to you from a different location in my home because the sun is like so nice. I feel like in Syracuse we don't really get that much sun. So I wanted to come to you from this place um, of optimism, of hope, of joy. I love this plant behind me. It kind of looks like um, angel wings, right? But anyways, okay, so I am coming to you with the cosmic climate for this week of March 30th, started to April 4th. Um, there are a lot of energy shifts, meetings this week. We had we just had Mars move into Aquarius yesterday, which was March 30th, and we have Mars in conjunct in conjunction to Saturn. And then we have Venus moving into Gemini. And then we have um, Jupiter conjunct Pluto. So there's a lot of energy happening this week. I am in a really good mood right now because I just had some optimistic news that I read about this coronavirus. And they, long, short, long story short, from what I saw is that they have been tracking fevers um, across the country. And basically, the number of fevers have gone down. And it's not like a big, big win, so to speak. I mean, we still probably have, I mean, there's still tons and tons of people that are sick. You know, we're still having um, these deaths. But that is a small win in, in, a, in any sense. A win is a win, right? And so they're seeing, as far as once the fever starts to drop, it's like a trickling effect. Then you have less people hopefully going into the ER or going to the hospital because you know less people are getting fevers and it it's then it just starts to progress from there so I read that and I took it as a win um so which is interesting wants to bring bring me to the transit of Saturn or of Pluto and Jupiter meeting right that conjunction so what I've learned through my teachers through my ast astrology spiritual community is that the Jupiter Pluto conjunction is pretty much the peak is going to represent kind of represents that peak of this coronavirus pandemic and hopefully the um I keep getting a lot of messages here hopefully the uh, numbers will start to slowly fall so slowly, slowly decrease so that we can move out of this quarantine um part of this this um of this dealing with this pandemic and so actually with the fevers going down from what i read it's like the social distancing the staying at home has really helped a lot and like it's not like an aggressive like kind of decline i mean it's a slow like we've been in this slow gradual hopefully this is the start of that slow gradual decline but like those little efforts definitely make a lot so you know if you can i know it kind of sucks we have to stay in our house we can't really engage with like our family as much as we want to or our friends and things of that nature but like the sooner we do it and tough it out for a couple weeks the sooner we can move past this and start to really integrate these new ways of living and you know just in society so i'm gonna pull some cards see what comes out see what energy we got just to work with but yeah that that pluto conjunct jupiter is a major transit and a lot of that has to do with when jupiter jupiter is expansive it wants to um really it, it likes to do things in a big way. And so when Jupiter conjuncts any planet, it will really expand on the archetypes of, of Jupiter's energy and correlation to Pluto. And so that happens on an individual level and a collective level. And so Jupiter, you know, it, it correlates to belief systems, truth, your intuition, your the way you even can kind of uh, intuitively perceive and make sense of the world around you, of nature, connecting to nature, connecting to universal truths. And Pluto, you know, there's an element of that. It, it is the soul in the chart and the evolutionary astrology perspective. And so it's the soul itself in the chart, collectively an individual. It's that deep transformative metamorphosis process. And so with Jupiter conjunct Pluto, it's going to really amplify 
the soul evolution, the deep metamorphosis, also the probing energy of Scorpio, of Pluto, getting to the bottom of things, getting to the bottom of this pandemic, getting to the bottom of our resources, you know, this great shift that we're in. It's it's getting to the bare bones of things. Where's the source? Where's the truth? And one of my teachers, you know, he did a podcast yesterday and he was talking about how really there's with with Sag Sagittarius or Jupiter energy there's truth versus lies and so we're going to we're really starting to find or see the truth see things for what they are and that was the unveiling of this whole reality um and so that's happening so like I said let me pull a card Let's see what we got hmm it's so interesting like even though what I'm getting when I just saw this card, I saw this eye looking right at me and that not necessarily has anything to do with the energy of this card. And maybe it does. That's what it's speaking to me. But, you know, five of cups, this indicates some sort of confrontational energy in regard to emotions, regard, regard to our spiritual wisdom or tapping into that spiritual wisdom, that spirituality. There is some confrontational energy that's coming forth. And it's going to really, that confrontational energy is actually good. It's always good because that helps us grow. And so this is really pointing and indicating to, I feel the Mars-Saturn conjunction that's happening today because a lot of what I've been reading from other astrologers perspective is that it can be confrontational. It can trigger some anger and some frustration within your environment, which is rightfully so. It's, it's necessary at this time. My perspective on Mars and Saturn conjunction is it's getting clear on your work, on your purpose, on your personal authority, your inner authority. Like, what do you desire? What are your intentions? How can you move forward? How can you be courageous and, you know, embody that that pioneer fighter spirit of Mars, that that fiery energy? And so Mars is in Mars and Saturn are both in Aquarius. So there's also this really instinct drive to break free to individuate and so i see that's probably where that frustration and that anger can come from if you i mean just feeling trapped my teacher was saying like this quarantine energy he's really good at speaking through um pictures and imagery and he had it was an alice in wonderland theme and he had a picture of alice in the house like trapped and like when you know when she ate the wrong what, mushroom or something or like bread or whatever she got really really big in that house i think it was the wrong treat anyways and she was like feeling really constricted that's the energy i feel of mars in you know mars and conjunct conjunct saturn and also that feeling of saturn being in an aquarius because saturn boundaries conditioning you know restrictions and aquarius just breaks through all of that so that's where we're at so we're feeling emotionally conflicted on the state of the world right now you know possibly our work and our purpose in this life or right now at this moment and it's kind of like what are we doing right and so ooh, this is the other card that fell out the fool this was face down so i love how this was like looking right at me and this is saying use your Eye, your third eye look beneath the surface use that Scorpio energy Pluto and Scorpio generation we are about to be feeling highly triggered highly um, forced to really start to make some big moves because of all of these planets moving into Aquarius especially when Pluto moves into Aquarius in 20 2023 2024 that is going to be making a square to our Pluto placements in, in Scorpio. And the sign that Pluto is in is that generational symbolism, um, you know, of, of what we're here to, what we've incarnated into this life to do um, or where we're coming from in the past. And, you know, as Pluto and Scorpio energy, they want to really like break things down, get to the bottom of things. It's about power dynamics, finding where you are feeling disempowered and regain that power. And so with Pluto and Scorpio generation, we are here to really, you know, break everything down, reclaim our power, take the lead. And it's going to be pointing to, you know, Pluto polarity, which is where our soul is striving towards, which is Taurus energy. So we're breaking down the system, the foundations, the outdated structures in order to rebuild new structures, new foundations of what's really sustainable, what's valuable. So we are, you know, in that flow. So this, the fool, my friends, this is indicating that we are 
in this new cycle, this new beginning, there's so much potential ahead of us. I mean, this is Aries season two written over it. This is starting out, you know, on the fool's journey. It's what's ahead of you. What are, what do you seek to um, align with? What are your desires? I mean, this is just, this is where we are at the moment. So we're in this new beginning phase, a new cycle. Let's see. I want to see if I can get one more card before my time is up. Um, we have Venus moving in Gemini this week. Venus is our values, you know, our how we connect to ourselves, our own values, you know, how we nurture ourselves, how we sustain ourselves. And then that Libra relationship of, of Venus is, is how you integrate that into society, into your relationships, how you connect one on one. Who are you attracting in? What are you attracting in? What do you find beautiful in your life? That's really important. And with Venus moving in Gemini, that's getting out. And at this point, networking through the internet, through, you know, any means necessary, ne networking about these values, what changes need to be made, what you love, what you find beautiful, you know, um, yes, and Venus will retrograde in Gemini as well. So, I mean, that's in a nutshell, Venus and Gemini, but I will do a post on that too this week. Any other messages from the universe? Let's see. See if I can get anything else, they might just be like, um, you need to sit on that and marinate on that. Let's see. Where baby starts being like, where are you? Yeah, here she comes. All right, so I think I, what I'm getting, I don't want to force it. I feel like that's what we need to sit on and get clear with. You know, sit with what's coming up for you. Sit with, with what fears are coming up. I definitely have noticed that the fears are really pulling out some nasty sides of people um, because, and I've noticed this in, in just people that I've talked to really in the, with the older generation, Pluto and Scorpio parents, you know, they are really feeling the shift. They're not ready. They're so stuck in their old ways. It's like Saturnian Capricorn way of being. And, you know, it's time to really break out of that. And they're ha having a hard time. And with Pluto's Scorpio generation, we're here to transform. We're here to metamorphosize ourselves, our reality. And so, you know, Pluto and Libra as well. I mean, you were getting triggered this whole time with Capricorn, with all this Capricorn energy. You were feeling that friction. So at that, at this point, it's like you're probably like everything's kind of coming together. Um, timelines are collapsing. And so... You may be at a point where it's like, okay, now I just need to jump out there. I need to take that leap of faith, you know, or yeah, leap of faith. And you're probably feeling that trigger really um, intensely right now with the Aries energy happening because that is a square to your Pluto. Um, but yeah, I feel really complete with this. If you guys have any comments or questions, um, definitely leave them in the comment section below. And I'm always available for readings. I do solar return, Saturn return, past lives, sun, moon, rising, any of that. Um, so definitely reach out if you guys are interested. And I will talk to you in the next one. Take care.